Good morning, campers. This is the eighth day of the Blackbird. Blackbird is in as, as the SR-71 since the maiden flight date of the SR-71. If you don't know what the Blackbird is, it's, it was the fastest jet ever made. It was uh, made for, uh, of course, spying on Russia during the Cold War. And as soon as we found something that was better than flying a really fast jet over, we put it to rest, but that jet was so fast they couldn't shoot it down with missiles. I mean, it, this thing is, I've seen it once fly by. It was pretty intense. Uh, today, I'm going to play you a band called Nile. I've seen Nile once on uh, while well, they toured with a long time ago with uh, Morbid Angel. Very impressive when I saw them. I've owned a few albums of them. This is something that came out last year, and... I'm not sure how exactly how to pronounce the name of the song, so I'll just do it in the spelling. But here we go. We're going to check out this song. So far, it uh, sounds like a. It sounds you know like what I used to know of Nile, but uh, it's 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 a death metal band. So far, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I I find this uh, enjoying. It's very, very cool. But it's it's not shockingly like groundbreaking. You know, uh, bringing death metal to a whole new level is it's uh, it's not like a bad review in a sense to say that, but it, it it definitely has at least its own sound. Like a lot of death metal bands today, once uh, once uh, fans discover a band and the band is selling great, many tend to attract to what is selling great. You know. Lamb and God, they're a good band, but we don't need 50,000 bands that sound like Lamb and God. And Nile is one of those bands, at least it was very traditional for death metal when they came out. When a new band was uh, to get, I guess, street cred or respect, it had to have its original sound or its original aspect about it. I mean, for instance, we have Carcass. And then we have bands like General Surgery. And 
general surgery, man, they, they, they admit at least to a point to, to, uh, the, to emulate carcass, you know, especially from the, like the earlier days, I guess. But, but once again, it's, it's, you're not, it's not like creating something that's new for the genre. But uh, so far, Nile, at least they still got their original sound. I haven't heard too much of the, they, they would used to slip in like kind of like an Egyptian, uh, you know, uh, melodies inside their, uh, or what we, what we think is Egyptian. We don't know what the Egyptians listen to back then especially but uh um get back to the song <clears throat> There's where they bring the Egyptian stuff into the music. Really fucking cool, man. And that rhythm before it with the double bass and everything. It, the drums I really enjoy on this. Uh, the recording of it. it doesn't sound like it's too much trigger click. I mean, there's still some warmth to it. Um, and that slow rhythm kind of remind me of a, a Morbid Angel. But man, it, it that it's definitely still original. This is something that a lot of new death metal bands are, are I think, are are missing in their writing. Is it's not all about how fast you can go and how how machine sounding you can be. You know, this this is actually kind of kind of song is actually kind of taking waves of of brutality. I mean, this this is definitely it's not have you know. Uh, making a bright point and calling back this thing is just uh, uh, I can just imagine like you know just dragging a big stone through the desert you know like just a pile up of, of sand breaking in the wake of this the weight of the stone as it's getting dragged you know uh, but anyways man back to the song
That was the end of the song, I believe. It'll play out. It's close enough to the end. Man, that was a really a brutal song, man. I it's definitely something that I would put if I was making like a mixed compilation. I'd put it on the same level as God of Emptiness from Morbid Angel. Uh, this was not a disappointing sound from them. And uh, I, I'm going to have to share out the whole album. It, it sounds something, something to me that I, I think... Uh, a fan of death metal could appreciate and give respect that it's like it's their own original style you know none of them are from like Egypt I believe they're from uh, West, uh, from Virginia and uh, you know they just kind of took up the the Egyptian mythos and kind of brought it to to death metal you know the the dark ex uh, uh, the dark uh, a view of of that uh, culture or mythos of gods and heaven, hell, and put it into death metal or dark music. It uh, it is definitely something uh, you know original at least. You know this. I, like I said, you know sometimes we get very caught up. Musicians they want to make it big. And when you're out writing music, you know, you hear something that sells good and all of a sudden there's like 200 of those bands. And that's really the last thing death metal really wanted when, when it was coming out with like, you know, the original line, uh, I would say with even death and napalm death and the, the first grounding death metal bands that everyone had to have their unique style and that's kind of even like where we even came up with like a kind of a new york style some call it slam and it uh is very distinct but uh florida did really good on that i mean you you put uh deicide deicide right next to like the cannibal corpse or even the obituary all of them had a completely different sound but yet the same genre of music you know I, it, at the beginning of death metal that was very important and i kind of wish bands you know uh today uh, you know or even the labels uh pushing bands you know should probably take into respect to that but you know people try to they got to make money you know so they if something's selling and you got the look and you got the the sound and your hip while you're in uh, sometimes uh, being original has its flaws too you know uh, people will be unsure and not so receptive because you know a lot of it's just a trend and they just want to fit in uh, all right this is the eighth day of the blackbird and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow